Hey guys, so I just installed the latest uh, Android 7.1.1 beta for the uh, OnePlus 3T. This is available from OnePlus's own website and I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out here. Uh, the main change with this one is that they've now made the interface exactly like the Google Pixel, which I'm not 100% sure of. You know, you know, I like my uh, app draw button. Uh, but nevertheless, it is quite interesting here to see uh, most uh, manufacturers are actually going with the Pixel uh, interface now. Uh, we did see that with the Moto phones as well. Uh, there are some other changes as well with this. We're getting uh, redesigned UI for the uh, launcher settings. So let's have a look at that. Uh, if we just go to the launcher. So... Uh, you can see we do get uh, the same kind of thing here, like different uh, icons that you can do. Uh, I think uh, if you're in India, you do have a quick pay option as well, which should come up somewhere, uh, which is quite nice. And uh, the uh, they have added a status bar icon to display real-time network speed. Uh, so let's just have a look at that, because uh, I do like my status bar additions here. Uh, so I think uh, you can see uh, we do have uh, some stuff on there. I don't know if I'm actually connected again. You can see I'm disconnected. Terrible preparation here. Uh, but, uh, you know, we are going to get connected very quickly. Uh, so we can see this. I wonder if OnePlus will be making a... Uh, will be making a, like, uh, Android O kind of uh, uh, developer preview, that would be pretty nice to see uh, for the OnePlus. So yes, there you can see up there, very nice. So you can see at all times basically how much uh, data you're using, which is pretty awesome. Uh, also, there are some other things as well. We're getting optimized camera EIS for videos. So that means your video should look a little bit nicer with this particular uh, software here. Uh, and actually, I uh, should have a look on this. Uh, so obviously, you do uh, go to here to do your video. Uh, this one, there we go. So this should be a little bit nicer and smoother now. Obviously, I can't really test it here, but uh, it is good that they're always making improvements. Uh, optimize the touch latency. So the the actual uh, touch latency uh, should be better now. So sometimes on speed tests, I have touched the device and uh, it's taken a while for it to respond. So I have actually noticed since installing this, the phone seems to be even more responsive than normal. Uh, so that is uh, something to consider as well. Uh, improved contacts management as well. Uh, added automatic night mode. Uh, so we can see this is the night mode button. And you do have an automatic av availability of this now, which is very nice to see. I'm just going to turn this off because it does bugger with my uh, eyes a little bit. Uh, also added gaming do not disturb mode. Uh, so let's have a look at that thing. Uh, where are the do not disturb uh, settings? So it's just... Ah, yes, we have a physical button here. Uh, so maybe it is somewhere hidden. Or maybe I just have to start a game up. It's a shame I don't actually have any games on here. <laughs> but yeah, you know, that is a pretty cool feature. Uh, I think that's about it, really. Uh, you know, there are probably some of this little bug fixes and stuff. Uh, but obviously the main thing which is interesting is like the app drawer here. It looks exactly like a Google Pixel. Uh, I don't know if we have the uh, Google Assistant, uh, unfortunately, yet, though. You know, that would be nice to see as well coming down. Uh, but, yeah, just a quick look up at the uh, latest uh, software here for the OnePlus 3T. Uh, I will just quickly show you the uh, build as well. You can see uh, the build number down here. 
uh, and all the information uh, yeah pretty nice update and uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get it on so yeah I'll see you in the next one cheers